Hi everyone and welcome back to my life as a Dark Lord. We'll be moving on towards the first boss of this video. Most importantly that we now have a new room, the Dark Dresser. Um, there's a few things you should know about Dark Dresser. Firstly, as you can see, it has a very stylish spider design, plenty of room for all your makeup and jewellery. It even has electrocuted locks so when people try to loot your tower, they get killed. Wonderful design. It also comes with a low, low price of 25 MP, so it's a pretty cheap tool to build. And what's more, this mirror is so evil you can see the reflection of vampires in it. It's these features you need when you're building up a room for empire. Very few companies actually give you such features. Um, basically, there's mages in this level. If you didn't have the dark dresser, they would slaughter your goblins because there's too many of them. So you just have to build a really, really tall tower of dark dressers. They are absolutely wonderful floors. They can only protect two goblins at a time though. Um, what they actually do, as you might have seen there, but I think I cut off most of the animation. Um, any goblin, um, any monster on the floor of the dark dresser takes half the damage from it. Um, that actually includes the dresser itself, so if you have later in the game um, enemies come who attack the artifacts, um, instead of the monsters, and they all do half damage to the dresser. So it's probably the most durable floor you have, well, no, it is the most durable floor you have in the game, and it's generally quite useful if you put a healer in the same room. Again, healers are what you get a fair bit later in the game. Um, but if you, put a if you put a healer in with them, they're pretty much invincible. Things can still kill the healer though, but that's not the matter. Um, there's not too much to do on this level again. We're still in the point of the game where at the start of the game they just give you swarms of trainees. The only real use of trainees is to give you MP. Later in the game, you get a few items which increase your MP at the start of a battle, so there's less need for the trainee swarms and start getting hard battles earlier on. So that's a bit more interesting. The disadvantage of having dark dresser floors and so far in rules is that the enemies actually survive to move up to the next floor. It's not a huge issue, uh, it's worth noting. A useful thing with them, because they are only 25 MP, you can place them below. And when you have multiple enemies coming at once, you can place it in between two waves of enemies to catch them off guard. Um, not sure there's really that much more to say about this level. There's a cutscene that, well, it's sort of a cutscene at the end of the boss, so I might skip through this a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I will. I'll fast forward for most of this just to save on time. Um, and again, maybe I'll get through the next really quickly and then I won't need to. Um, so I better keep talking. Um, yeah, five down. I'm just going to build a full tower of dark chests. There's not much more you need to on this level. So the iron balls will be taken out by the mages if you build them, so there's not much point. Come on, give me something interesting. One black mage is not interesting. You see, if you compare it to the last video when I had goblins in the iron balls, the mages were doing about a third of the health, now they're doing about six which also leaves them plenty of time to recover between waves so you end up not losing any goblins at all not sure you're supposed to care about the nicer goblins but never mind but i'll show you what i mean about building in between two mages in a second when these ones come up hopefully this one will move out the way in time yeah. Okay, so you've got two mages come at once and they're on different floors. If you place a floor in between them, and summon just one goblin so I don't have enough, and, but just summon any monster in it so that the battle timer appears, 
because if it's just the artifact, they'll just hit it once and move on. Um, but now that mage will be significantly cut off from the rest of the mages, which will give these towers above time to rest up. Um, they are playing leapfrog a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's quite high for that much health. So when you're facing an enemy which you don't have a strong attack for, and melee's weak against mages, um, you tend to have to build up, and if anything, you don't need to place two goblins on each floor, it's one goblin on each floor. Um, but since I've only built ten floors for the most, I might as well turn them up a little bit. The game also suggests for fast enemies you do this, but... It's true you do need more floors, but you tend to need the slower attacking monsters which you get later on because they do enough damage to kill them in one or two hits. Whereas even if you've got goblins who've got a fairly fast attack speed, against the faster moving opponents they'll still only get one hit in. Even if you take them out, yeah. If they wipe out all the monsters on one floor, they immediately move up to the next. It ends the battle timer, so I think these two will be leapfrogging that and then quite badly. Just in case, I will build an iron ball at the top. The only reason I'm doing this is because the iron ball floors. The iron ball actually attacks itself, so they do a fair bit more damage than the uh, dark tracer floor. Though, saying that, I'm not actually sure they're going to get that high anyway. God, this has been a long battle. Um, yeah, I might fast forward the whole thing. Or maybe just give this a separate video instead. Not sure I'm interested in this one, but. Never mind. Um, that's that battle done. What I will do after this battle, I now should have a little under 300 karma. I think. Yeah, so if I play that level again, off screen obviously, then I'll have enough karma to buy up to level 2 goblins, and then I'll move on to the boss. So, this is part 3. Um, I guess we don't get to the boss this time. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.